loves Jesus and America too. She's a good girl. She's crazy by Elvis. Loves horses and a boyfriend too. Hey everybody, welcome to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin. My name is Mike Dijon and this is your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this eight string instrument that we all love. Today we're looking at Tom Petty's classic song, Free Falling, from his 1989 album, Full Moon Fever. One of Tom Petty's best songs, I think, and one of his biggest hits. Certainly one that sounds really fantastic playing on the mandolin. It's a really simple song for you to play on the mandolin. If you're a beginner, you'll get this song in no time, and you'll have a great time playing it uh, with your friends or even just by yourself just to practice uh, some of the chords and some of the licks in this song. Thanks to all of you guys who have subscribed to this channel already. We really appreciate your support. We've really grown over the last few months and we will continue to grow with your support in the future, offering you some classic rock and pop lessons for the mandolin. If you haven't subscribed yet or you're new to this channel, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for popping in to learn some songs on the mandolin, some classic rock and pop songs. But please hit that little subscriber button on your way out or while you're watching this video, that little red button down there in the lower right corner. It really helps us to continue to grow this channel into the future and make it your go-to destination for learning classic rock songs on the Mando. So now without further delay, let's dive into Free Falling by Tom Petty for Mandolin on RPM. All right, we've zoomed in for Tom Petty's Free Falling, another great track to play on the mandolin. This one is really simple. It's really only a couple of chords throughout the entire song. And uh, yeah, the chords are all played off this G. So I will point out that once again, that I am playing this song in a different key from the original that Tom Petty uh, plays it in on Full Moon Fever. I believe he capos either at the third or the second fret on the guitar. Uh, making this song, putting this song into the key of F originally. I'm playing it in the key of G on the mandolin because I just think it works nicer with these open chords. You can always play it in the same key as Tom Petty does on the original if you play it in the key of F. Um, go ahead and you'll probably be able to use the tab that's out there on the internet for that. But this one, I'm going to show you how to play it with open strings here in the key of G. All right, so let's do it like that. So this song starts off with this nice little pattern. Right, so what are those chords there? Well, we start off with the G chord, open G chord, second fret here of the A string, third fret here of the E string, so your open G, your basic open G chord, and then here's what I do next. I move this finger over one fret from here, second fret on the A, to third fret on the A, while leaving this finger locked down on that G note. All right? And that becomes a G sus4 chord, because the C is the fourth note in the G scale, right? So you go G and then G sus4, okay? And you keep that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You don't hit every every string or every note every time, but you keep that rhythm going in your head while you're playing the intro to this song, the opening part anyway. So you go. All right, so what am I doing after I go to that G sus four chord? Well, I'm just moving it back to a D chord. So this, this finger here is all that really moves until you go to the D chord. So you see how I did that? You can also do it with these two fingers as well. If you want to make the G like that, you can do it that way. But I find that a little awkward because I always make the G chord like this. So. Right, so you go just like that.
Now that's the opening part to the song. Later in the song, there's a little bit more strumming going on, especially in the verses and the chorus, right? So you're going. So there you're actually, you're actually hitting the strings when when you're doing it. It's only the intro part where you don't, and a little bit later in the song where this everything breaks down and they just have that opening riff again. So you wanna go. You can't even do it like that. Yeah, I'm playing it differently there. Now I'm playing it like this. And either way is fine as long as you get that that little movement there, so. And really the only other part in the song is a, a muffled part uh, playing basically, or a muted part that's played with those same chords again but at a different, uh, a different place on the mandolin. So instead of playing the G to the G sus4 up here, I'm gonna play it down here. And I'm gonna use a little palm muting that uh, they use on the original version on the guitar. And I'm gonna do that on the mandolin to give you a little bit of a sound like this. So what did I do there? Well, I had this G chord now with this finger on the G note. Instead of the open, I've added this finger here. So, and I've put my palm down here right next to the bridge on the strings, just like that, lightly resting on the strings. And I'm hitting this low G note as well. So you're going, you can give yourself a really nice muted sound there. So G, and then I'm quickly jumping up to catch uh, the C note here, fifth thread of the uh, G string there, along with leaving my pinky there on the G note. So both frets are at the fifth. You're at the fifth fret there and you're palm muting it, right? And you can, you can keep the rest of that G chord down if you can. So it sounds like this. To a D chord, right? And then open. Take your palm. Take the palm muting off, right? Once again, the palm muting part is G to C or G sus4. It's not actually a C chord, it's a G sus4 chord, I believe, right? So you go. Petty's classic song, Free Falling, for mandolin. A really fun song, very simple song for you to pick up on this eight-stringed instrument. I'm sure you'll pick it up quickly and you'll love playing it. My name's Mike Dijon. Thanks again for tuning into RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin. We really appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that little red subscriber button down there in the lower right corner. Thanks once again for watching Rock and Pop Mandolin. My name is Mike Dijon.